Hello my friends, are you paying attention for this one because this one's completely berserk. Today I've got a brand new engine that I'm going to introduce you to the channel and it's just as crazy as the Superclass 47. I don't actually know what class this engine is but you guys will know and you can leave your answer in the comment section below and you can tell me what uh, class this engine actually is. But the engine I'm going to review for you today is this, the Smokey Joe. Okay, I know what you're thinking, okay? How can this be just as berserk as the Superclass 47? Trust me when I say, this is no ordinary tank engine. Obviously, you can get the Smokey Joe in a little Hornby model, but um, actually, to be honest, this, is actually, this sort of runs kind of like a Hornby model, because it's just insanely fast. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I'm going to go inside. Well, actually, no, I'm going to go from the outside view. Um... This is going to be pretty insane, so fasten your seatbelts and brace yourself, because this is pretty insane. So let's release the brakes, and I'm going to put the reverser on like 20 or maybe 10%, and I'm going to just shove the reverser on full and then shut it off really quickly. So you guys ready for this? In 3, 2, 1, boom. Ooh! <laughs> we almost derailed. <laughs> See, I told you, you weren't expecting that, were you? This thing is just insane. So if I put it in reverse and just slam the reverser on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, God. <laughs> that nearly derailed. I have to say now that this is ridiculous. Ridiculously fun. So first of all, I want to test the speed of this thing. So let's give it just a little bit of power without popping a wheelie. Ooh, this thing is mind-blowingly fast. So already we're doing about 133. It's going faster than I can talk. 140 miles per hour. So uh, I'm. I mean, we've done the Superclass 47. We've done the jet train. But I don't think you guys have seen anything as ridiculous as this. I mean, it's a, just a small little tank engine going at a billion miles per hour. That's probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I, mean, I am a little bit concerned of going around a corner at tight speed because this thing could just jump off the tracks and just go flying. I mean, I would say the puffing sound is, is incredible, but to be honest, it's not really making a sound at all. As you know, the sound is gone. This thing's not making a sound at all. It's just dead quiet. It's holding onto the corners really well. Oh, look, hold on. There's a class 205 with his thumper. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, goodbye, Thumper. We just mind blown that. I bet Thumper wasn't expecting that. And we're already at the seaside. This is lovely. Apply the brakes and see how quick this thing is good at stopping. It's probably not as good as stopping as the Superclass 47, but we are stopping quite fast. But, you know, it's, it's obviously it's not as powerful as the Superclass 47, I've got to say. And we've stopped. Perfect. I, I, I haven't got anything else to say. That is probably one of the most outrageous things that I've ever driven in Tracy Blader because the wheelies are insane. Let me just try and pop a backwards wheelie. Oh, that's forwards. See if I pop it in reverse. There we go. Ready? Put it in reverse. Whoa! Okay, nope. Now we derailed. See, this thing is the most easiest thing to derail ever. Oh, that's going to be happening a lot. Right, this time, I want to couple up to some coaches. So, I'm just going to very gently try and couple up without actually causing a accident. God, this cab view is, like, ridiculous. How am I supposed to, like, concentrate? Oh, there we go. We've coupled up. Perfect. That was intense. So we're going to let Thumper go ahead, because I don't actually, like, want to crash into Thumper just in case something does degrade and it causes the whole game to crash. So, um, a bit scared. For the first time in my life, I'm actually scared to actually set off on Lazy Jet Railway. Oh, God, here we go. Okay, let's give it a bit of speed and power. Oh my god, look at this. This is just insane. How is this going to work? I just don't know. Already doing 100 miles per hour. I bet these coaches are just going to go flying. Goodbye, Thumper. I'll see you in the future. Because I'm pretty sure if this little thing goes at 88 miles per hour or over, we'll go back in time. Let's see if we can try to go a bit faster. So let's give it a bit more... Sp I want to see how fast this thing can actually handle when pulling... How many coaches are we even pulling? One, two, three, four, five, six... Perfect. I've done a lot of weird things in Tracy Blader, and this is what this is up there. This is seriously up. This is one of them. This is just one of those ideas where I just don't know what's going to happen. But that's what I do. I test things out and see how they run. This is the most outrageous thing I've ever driven ever. I mean, a little tank engine doing about nearly 200 miles per hour. I'm pulling eight, no six Mark One coaches. I need to get my numbers right. But I'm surprised it hasn't really derailed. I mean, I haven't got any sharp corners on this route, thank God. But it is quite insane of a little tank engine doing over 220 miles per hour. 
This is faster than a Lamborghini. And we're going so fast that the Mark 1s have actually lost their sound. So if you actually listen, there's no sound for them. Except for that little clickety-clack. But there's no, like, whooshing sound. That's creepy. Oh, this is not good. I'm... How fast are we going? 227 miles per hour. How is this thing not derailing? I mean, I can see it wants to derail, but... You know, as I said, I've, seen, I've done a lot of weird things in my time. This is definitely one of them. I wonder what happens if I apply the brakes, like, really fast. Or put it in reverse. Or just apply the brakes. Or do, or do, or just do both. So the coaches don't just go flying. Oh, no, they were doing fine. It's like an ordinary tray, just at super pumped up speed. Seems fine. Okay, at the beginning of the video, I said I had a brilliant idea. Well, this is actually my brilliant idea. We're going to be using Smokey Joe in a race. Oh, yes. The race is back, my friends. For the first time ever on this channel, we're going to be hosting our very first race on Lazy Jet Railway. Because Lazy Jet Railway is going to be our brand new racetrack. So, for our very first race on Lazy Jet Railway, we're going to be using Smokey Joe against the Super Class 47. <laughs> yeah! I mean, we all know the Super Class 47 is going to win. But, you know, we're going to see which one's faster, obviously, by how much. That's why it's like a little science experiment. Everyone likes a science experiment. Actually, I, I hate science experiments. I did science once. It was terrible. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into World Editor... And we're going to program both of these bad boys to do 100% power and see which one is the fastest. We're going to go in here, click in here, and see which number is the Superclass 47. So that's engine number 5. And we'll program you to go to dun, 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 Jet Stream Cross Platform 2. And we'll go make you go 100% power. A bit scared. And for Smokey Joe is engine number 2. And we'll have you go at Jetstream Cross on platform number one. I hope so. Right, I just did the programming. Apparently there's something that's telling me that the programming might not work because it says that this the Smoky Joe will crash the moment of when this um, programming begins. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna test it and just see what happens. So let's click yes and save and just see what happens. Fingers crossed. Alright, here we go. I'm a bit nervous and a bit scared. Whoa! That was insane! Look at that wind just take off! Now, gotta be honest, I thought the Superclass 47 would be going much more faster, weirdly, but the Smoky Joe is going a bit slow as well. I thought they would, they would take off much more faster. Don't know what's going on. I did say that something in the programming might go wrong. But for our very first race, under the bridge, well, under the first bridge, it's the Superclass 47, followed by Smokey Joe, who has fallen behind quite miserably. So the Superclass 47 is passing the first station, uh, East Bridge Parkway. It's not going that fast than it normally does. Normally the Superclass 47 is just... But normally, I think, it has, as I said, something must have gone wrong in the programming. I'll have, I'll have to see if I can try and fix that. So Smokey Joe is now passing uh, East Bridge Parkway. It's not very... Not very exciting, is it? I mean, I've hosted a lot of more exciting races than this. But the Superclass 47 has already passed the beach. And I still need to name the beach. I haven't given the beach a name yet. But, you know, I'll, 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 I'll think of something. I, I, I always think of something. Well, let's have a, look, a quick look on the map to see where Smokey Joe is. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. And there is the Superclass 47. So, so for a race... It's a bit of a gap, but, um, yeah, I, I haven't got much to say. I, I, I always run out of things to say. But while we're waiting, I think we should have a nice cup of tea at the signal box with Mr. Potts. That's the name of the guy who I've, I've actually named a guy who actually is the owner of the signal box. I've named him Mr. Potts. I don't, I don't know why, I just thought Mr. Potts, like, like in the movie, Oh, Mr. Porter. I think it's Oh, Mr. Porter, I think. Um, so it's like Potts and Porter, you know, it needs, it needs to have a P and an O in it. So I thought Potts, like Mr. Potts is the owner of the signal box and he has a kettle. So he pours a pot of tea. So I call him Mr. Potts. It's a work in progress. And here we are finally at Jetstream Cross and the Supercars 47 has won. <laughs> well, I mean, was there any ever doubt? I was expecting it to be a bit more quicker. But, you know, programming and all that, I've said this so many times now in the video, 
Who cares? At least, it, at least it sort of worked. I mean, the beginning when it took off, boom! That was really exciting. Now we're just going to sit here and wait for Oh Mr. Porter, I guess. Which is actually Smokey Joe. It's. Never mind. We're going we're gonna to wait for Smokey Joe, which will be about 10 minutes. So I've been waiting here for about five and a half minutes in real time. And that's how long it's taken Smokey Joe to actually reach the end of the line. Hello, Smokey Joe. Uh, oh, are you going to stop? The, the finish line's back here, Smokey. It's back here. Over here, Smokey Joe. So there you have it, my friends. Smokey Joe versus the Superclass 47. Not the race I was expecting, but I'll tell you what, I might do this again in the future because I kind of feel like this was a kind of an unfair race because the programming, as I said, didn't exactly work. So I'll probably rebuild a big straight line and just see which one is the fastest. I'll probably do this again in another video. But which one do you think is better, my friends? Smokey Joe or the Superclass 47? Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to read it. Thank you again so much for watching, my friends. Make sure you click that subscribe button and turn the little bell notification on as well so you stay notified to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, my friends. And remember, it's all about the game. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>